Welcome back to the video. I wasn't planning on picking up the camera to vlog, but my camera was just sitting here looking like I needed to vlog, so it's like, why not? So Cole's down for a nap, but I think he'll be up in a little bit, and we're going to figure out what we're going to do for the rest of the evening. It is 3.12 right now, p.m. on Wednesday, April 22nd, 2020. It's kind of windy outside, but it's like a high 50s, I would say. But it's just like kind of windy, so it's like, it's warm, but it's not warm. It's like really weird. But me and my husband took a couple walks around the house, and then we just sat outside by the um, fire pit for a little bit. So we spent a little bit of time just hanging out, which was nice. But I cleaned my room today. So it's all nice and spruced and done in my bathroom. And I switched my closet up. I'll show you that really quick. Just because I like it a lot better. You guys can... If you guys remember what it looked like before, I was not very proud of it. Um, it's just starting to drive me nuts. And I need to put this back. I actually needed to mop the bathroom floor today. But I'm lazy and I don't really want to. So I'm going to skip it. And I'm going to make myself mop it. Um, next week. Because, I don't know. I just don't feel like... We track like a whole bunch in here other than me. I feel like I come in here the most because I do shower in here, but it'd be all right. So anyways, here's the closet now. If you guys remember, this dresser was over here in this corner and we added this. My husband's idea was to put the belts on this thing that I actually was going to get rid of. But he said, why not we hang our belts on it? And I was like, well, okay. And I really like that idea because I didn't like how my belt was just hanging on that rod up there before. So I think they look good like that. Um, we do have a little bit of wall space right here. What do you guys think we should do right here? Like, um, my husband kind of wants to hang his hats somehow. Like, all of his ball hats. But I don't know. But anyways, so now my clothes are not collapsing on me. So they're all kind of like back together. If you guys remember, I had all kind of shelves in the center. And then, obviously, that was over here, so I like it way better against the wall because now when you walk in, you have all this space to, like, stand back and, like, I don't know. Not that I, like, do this, but you just have more space in the, um, I don't know. It just feels like it's more space now. All of this stuff, you guys will not believe, all this stuff I'm getting rid of. This was stuff that I decluttered out of my closet and all my drawers and my shoes. I even got rid of shoes. You guys, I convinced myself to get rid of shoes. When I've already went through my stuff a while back, I already went through all my stuff, but this is how much more stuff that I got rid of. Another freaking bag full of stuff. And it's all mine because I couldn't convince my husband to get rid of any of his stuff, even though, let's be real, he doesn't wear half of this shit. <sighs> yeah, this is his side. And then I just folded up his jeans and set on top of My jeans are actually in this container. And then I put all my shoes down on this little shoe rack. All of his shoes are actually under here. But um, I think it's fine because I put all of his flip flops in this little container. And then this stuff was setting on top of my dresser. It's just like my jewelry and some of his stuff. And then I put all of his ball hats on this little shelf. And that's all the room that we had for the shelves. So I had to put the rest of the shelves away. But my clothes kept collapsing because of the way the rod was. And I had shirts over there, and then I had winter stuff over here, and then it just, it was starting to look really junky, and I just didn't really like it, but I like it a lot better now. I feel like it's a little bit more, it looks better now. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, so that's what I pretty much spent my break yesterday doing while Cole took a nap. I did the closet, and I got rid of a bunch of crap. Today, I've lounged and done nothing, but I am going to upload my video tonight that I'm excited for you guys to watch. Um, and I hope you guys find it helpful, but we're having leftovers tonight of the Instant Pot pasta that I shared in my vlog. We were actually going to have it, this makes like night number two, no, night number three, but we didn't have it yesterday because we ate at Burger King. So we're going to eat it tonight because we don't want it to go bad, so I'm going to like put it in a pan, I think, put some cheese on it. And try to spruce it back up a little bit and put it in the oven to heat it instead of doing it in the microwave. I'm just gonna try to spruce it up so it's like good. <laughs> Good 
morning. So Cole was still asleep, so I'm trying to be quiet. But um, I don't know if this is just me, but does anybody else, when they use K-cup pods, um, have you ever like thought that they didn't taste very good? Like, I don't know. It's weird. Like, I'll buy the K-cups, and right now these are the ones that I have. So I'm either gonna give them to my brother, maybe, or finish using them. I don't know, but. I just feel like every time I use these, like my coffee, just sometimes they don't taste the best. So I decided to switch to the reusable filters, which I've used before in the past, and it saves a ton of money. Plus, it helps the earth because you're not using all this plastic. But um, so I just buy these little coffee filters. You can find all this stuff at Walmart. But um, and I bought a can of Maxwell House, and I, yes. Uh -oh. I just sit and have my coffee. <laughs> Anyways, I also have been putting the creamer in first, which has been making it really nice and smooth. Like the taste is so much better in my opinion. I don't know why that is. Um, leave a comment if you've ever noticed that you thought maybe your K cup thing ever, your little pod things have ever tasted like bad or just not the best like oh, i always feel like mine's too bitter or something so anyways good morning um my husband has to work today today is thursday i'm about to let the dog out before he pees in the house which is probably gonna happen because normally he has to go to the bathroom first thing so um he sleeps under the bed i think i told you guys that but i got up before the dog did normally <laughs> sometimes i do and sometimes he's up before me but the cat's chilling i think cole's awake now so i'm gonna go get cole um i don't know what we're gonna do because i think it's supposed to rain today so it's looking really dark outside and it's freaking cold come on Otis. oh <sighs> it's really cold out here I tried talking my husband in to let me get this little um, mini tripod for the camera so that way when I'm vlogging it can hold it pretty steadily and right now I got it on my regular tripod. I, the regular tripod is just too freaking heavy to walk around holding it obviously to keep the camera steady so I don't know if he's going to let me or not but I got to um, prep dinner for tonight so I'm making my favorite which is kielbasa and potatoes and onion that's literally the ingredients plus a can of mushroom soup and creole seasoning salt and pepper that's it it is so good i'm making it in the crock pot so i gotta prep stuff right now but if you guys haven't tried this i've actually shared it on my channel but it's really really delicious you guys like because of the fact that it doesn't have a lot of ingredients it doesn't sound like it would be good but i promise you it is delicious I painted it today and I painted the frame I need to do a little bit of touch up 
back here you can kind of see if i get up real close where it needs touched up but this is the door um it looks so good and i can't wait to do the other ones but honestly this took me an hour and a half to do just this door and the frame so and that was with one coat of paint with some touch-ups on the front but I gotta touch up the back, so I'm gonna do that maybe after dinner. I need to wake him up because if he sleeps any later, he's not gonna go to bed. But I'm just gonna make him something simple. Have some leftover penny pasta in here, and I'm gonna add some cheese to it for him. And I'm gonna either make him chicken nuggets or um, something else. I'm gonna find something else to go with it. And some fruit, probably. It's raining out. So it is like, a, it's more of like a fall dish, but like it's still chilly here where I live. So this was like the perfect day to have this. And I'm so excited. Goodies. Some like healthier snacks. I don't know. These are just like free dried strawberries and then some apples slices. Something new to snack on. Oh yeah. Good morning. I'm looking scary. Today's Friday. Um, April 24th. The month is like almost done, which is crazy to think that this month flew by, I thought. But guess what I did last night, you guys? I did the windows last night. I painted them last minute last night when I was touching up the back of the door. So it looks like completely different now, but also painted this one in the laundry room. I cleaned in here last night, but I need to do the floor. But everything in here is cleaned, and I had to move the cat bowls because um, the cats do not like eating really close together. And they were back here, but we're going to be getting a closet door finally for this. As soon as my dad comes up to talk to us about what there's some stuff that we want to do, we um, decided instead of maybe doing a fence for Otis that we're going to make our back porch um, a little taller, like as far as the rails, so he can't jump over them. And then maybe just use the back porch as his, like, if when he goes out, like when the farmer's up here, we don't let him go out and run because he'll, like, run over there. But um, just a bigger area to keep him enclosed when we need to have a space for him. And it's really shady on the back porch, too. So it's going to get hot probably soon for summer, so it'll be a good place for him to like chill out back there um, when he needs to be put on the porch. But um, Otis has been inside a lot recently anyways, like he's been an indoor dog for the most part. And um, it looks like it's raining again today, that sucks. We're going... To walk. We're waiting on dad. Are you going to stop it? It's been raining. Well, it rained most of the morning and then it, now it's just been gloomy all day, but we're leaving the house. Again, this makes our second time leaving the house today as far as like our drive. We went on a drive this morning. Now we're going to walk at a place where like there's no people around. Um, it's just got like a track that you can walk, but there's never nobody there. So we're going to go walk that and get some fresh air. We obviously have to keep coal. Like I said, I'm very lucky to live in the country because we're pretty secluded. I don't like live really close to people, which I'm really grateful for. So we can take, I can take my kid outside any day I want with all the land that I have. So like I'm very fortunate and grateful for that, but he honestly would rather go to like this place that we go and I've vlogged at it before but he would rather just go there and walk around and it just like Cole I think gets bored of his of being here too like we're all just going insane at this point um we're starting it's starting to get really old I'm not gonna lie like but like at the same time we're trying to make the best out of it and not complain a whole bunch because like I know things could be like way worse or even worse we could be sick 
so um, I'm glad that we're not. I'm glad nobody in my family has come down with this virus. Um, things have still stayed the same here in West Virginia. I mean, where I live as far as, like, there's no more confirmed cases in my county, um, which is good. But that doesn't mean, like, other people can't be sick because I don't think they're really testing a whole bunch here either because we have limited test kits or they're just not testing for whatever reason. That's how I feel like my state is kind of bush legged. <laughs> so, um, anyways, we're still taking precautions. We keep these little hand sanitizers in the car. My husband got these from his work. And every one of our vehicles have these in them. So, in case we have to run in a store, which my husband went to the dollar store this morning. and We had to buy diapers because we had none. Um, so, we had to get those, obviously. But my husband keeps the hand sanitizer, uses it, and we have face masks that my aunt made us. So, we're doing what we need to do if we have to go, but we try to avoid public places with people. Cole's ready to run. I'm just glad that it's not that freaking cold today. I mean, it's chilly, but it's not that bad. But I've got a long sleeve on plus this Sharpa-like sweater. Oh, there he goes. It's on the move. French fry? No, see. I think I'll pass on the French fry. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> Run, Zoe! <laughs> he, knows, he knows where he's at, don't he? Go! <laughs> Nope, we're gonna walk the track. Bye. He's mad. Go. Watch the stick. What's this, huh? Look, so over here, someone made a little seat. Could also be a toilet if you wanted it to be. So we just decided when we get done here, we're gonna go to DQ and get some dilly bars and pray that there isn't a long line to wait because normally every time we go to DQ the freaking line is clear out in the middle of the road and we never wait because well for one Cole doesn't have any patience to sit in there that long and we really don't either because it's a long long wait and they're very slow there so we're here at um, Walmart my husband just went in to get a pair of shoes to wear to cut the grass because he doesn't want to wear his work shoes and I wasn't aware that he didn't have the extra set of shoes to wear outside because we always try to keep an extra pair of shoes to do like yard work and stuff in but anyways um, he's wearing his mask and we got hand sanitizer and we're doing our usual precautions and I also told him to look to see if there's a potty chair 
um, for Cole inside because I want to start working with Cole on potty training. Um, he does understand like what the potty is and stuff, but he is still kind of scared of the big potty because if you guys have been watching for a while, you know that we bought him a seat to go on top of the potty chair, like the big potty. But he doesn't really want anything to do with it right now, which also just might be a sign that he doesn't want or might not be ready to potty train. But at the same time, I want to try first with the little potty. And if he still like protests and, you know, won't do it, then it is what it is. I just, um, um, I don't really know as an, as a mom, my views before I was a mother, um, were completely different now that I am a mom. And... I just follow my gut instinct and sometimes when situations arise like if something happens and I don't feel right about it then I don't like force it and I've had like this experience happen but it really catches me off guard because like before I was a mom I would judge other moms and like judge what they were doing with their kids and now that I am a mom I'm just like I really understand like what they go through and how hard it is sometimes to make um decisions and choices for your kids so um i don't know where i'm going with this but i'm gonna try it i'm gonna try to see if cole will be interested in using a smaller potty first before i you know don't try at all so we're getting him a potty that maybe looks like um that's identical to the big potty because i saw they have those and i think this walmart which is my walmart which has nothing <laughs> um actually has a potty that looks like the big potty so I hope they have it in stock because I told my husband to get it. If not, they have it on Amazon, so I'll just order it. But um, right now is a really good time to even, like, it'll give me something to do as well because um, I'm really over this quarantine shit. And I'm going to be honest with you guys, like, I am way past beyond over it. Um, but I know, like, um, there ain't nothing I can do about it. So me and my husband have been trying to make the best out of it and um we don't go somewhere unless we absolutely have to go and get something and we make sure we're wearing a mask or we make sure we're washing hands etc 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 um so we are following precautions i know some people i've watched very many people here at walmart go in with nothing on so um you know at least we are wearing masks and we do you know I mean, whatever. I don't really have the right to sit and judge what people are doing um, with this stuff. I just, I don't have, it's not none of my business. So I'm just going to, I just, I just want you guys to know I'm really over it. I'm really, really over it. I miss the normalcy of the world. I, <laughs> normalcy, right? Like, was the world really ever normal? Um, do we really know what's going on behind media? No, we don't. Um, the media is telling us stuff, but is it always true? I don't really know. I'm starting to believe otherwise, but I do know people are dying from this and it's really bad. So, um, my husband is high risk, which is also scary, but, um, I don't know. What are you doing? Are you back there drinking your milk? My husband's going to cut the grass today. Um, me and Cole's probably going to do something outdoors I don't know what we're gonna do something um, maybe play with some bubbles or something but try to keep him occupied while my husband mows it's gonna take some time because it takes a really long time to mow our yard we have a pretty big yard so how are you guys doing during quarantine I hope you guys are doing okay and staying safe and just do it making the best out of it because honestly we don't really have anything else to do but make the best out of it but I'm not gonna lie to you guys I broke down this morning for the first time in probably um, a month however long we've been quarantined since Cole's birthday pretty much so since March 16th here where I live is when pretty much the quarantine stuff really started so since March 16th it's now April 25th um, this is like the first time that I really really had a breakdown this morning um, because I'm just I'm just really really tired and um, I don't think that it makes me a selfish parent to be tired of it because um, I really miss I really miss having that day with my husband and um, 
I don't think it makes me selfish at all because it was a way for me to breathe as a parent and to be, I feel like it made me be a better mom because it gave me a day to relax and I really miss having that. So the fact that I don't have that is making it really harder every day that goes by. Good morning guys. Today is Sunday, my husband's at work. So I'm trying to figure out what me and Cole are going to get into. I put gel in my hair today because it's going to be raining all day. So um, our time going outside is kind of limited. I don't know if it's just going to rain on and off because right now it doesn't look like it's raining. But I know it's supposed to like rain all day. But it just might be on and off. So um, I want to take Cole somewhere here in a little bit. Maybe on like a little drive so we can go and get outside while it's not raining getting up and painting my window over here so i painted it white and now i gotta do this window in here and i'm done in my room which is nice except for the door obviously the door needs painted you can definitely tell from the front door compared to that door that it's not white so um i am just taking a little bit at a time i'm not like trying to overdo it i just do a little bit every like i've been doing it every day i feel like and eventually it'll get done so i'm just doing that for now um we haven't even had good weather for me to film cleaning my windows because i want to do that i want to clean all my windows in the house um do like a little spring cleaning video but i haven't been able to do that because there has been no good days it either is raining or the wind is blowing or it's chilly like it's not even warm enough to want to go out and get in water and like clean my windows or whatever I'm gonna do I don't know what I'm gonna do or how I'm gonna clean them because um, I have a couple different methods on how I like to clean my windows I actually made a video a really long time ago you guys should go watch if you haven't seen it but it was called like how to clean your glass I think is that how I did it or how I wash my windows um, in the old house and I used like a squeegee thing and it worked really really great and I think I just used like Dawn soap water to wash the windows and it worked really good but I don't even think we still have that thing because I don't know what happened to it but I'll have to go see if I can find it because I would like to do that because it's a way faster method to wash your windows and it's really easy to do so I don't know if I'm going to do that or if I'm just going to like use a rag and clean them but I got to wait for a nice day before I can do any of that. Wait. Did you eat your toast? Did you eat your cinnamon toast that I made? <laughs> and your banana? You probably haven't even touched the banana. That doesn't fit you. Um, so he's been really well behaved. But um, I was just having like a mommy meltdown yesterday. A little bit this morning because he was kind of being a little a little frustrating this morning and I just broke down because um, I'm just just overwhelmed like with the amount of like it's very overwhelming sometimes as a mother because um, especially since we haven't like I said been getting our break that we normally would get once a week um, it's just been really hard to uh, it just makes it hard I don't even know how to explain it because it's like I looked forward to that day so much that not having it is like really hard because all I want is for this coronavirus to end and go away and for people to get better and I know like people are talking about a second wave of it coming through over in China or whatever I don't know what my husband was reading an article the other night that just kind of like freaked me out but um, the fact of thinking that it's going to come back or anything once it clears up some and the country is wanting to reopen, which I don't know if it's a good idea or not. I feel like it's kind of not just because I feel like there's a lot of people that have the virus that um, isn't hasn't been accounted for because there's no test kits or anything to test them. So which means there's just a lot more people that have it than what we know and I don't know it's just really scary really but I try not to like dwell so much about that because I don't want to like stop living life either you know um, I feel like <laughs> it's really difficult though when you don't know what to expect or what's gonna happen and I'm just ready for a new month to start and for the weather to get nice and warm and I want the virus to just die off and for everybody to be you know good again I, I obviously everybody wants that but I know it's gonna take some time 
So I'm just trying to do what I can do during the day to keep myself sane. My husband helps me so much that I don't know what I would do without him. He is just like my rock. The only person that I feel like that I have that is there for me for everything um, every day and the person that I can turn to for anything. And I just am so blessed to have him <laughs> to help me um, that it's crazy. So I think we're gonna go and end off this vlog because I think it's way too long. I might have to cut this vlog down a little bit on time because I think I got way too many long clips. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe and we will see you in the next video. I hope you guys are doing well and staying safe and we'll talk to you later. Bye guys.